They say that death doesn't come just once. It comes again and again. In every moment that someone feels the absence of a loved one and in the memories that begin to fade over time. But sometimes a life leaves behind a wave so deep that it echoes through generations, touching those who never even knew the person. This mansion, hidden deep in the Connecticut woods, is one of those echoes. Built in 1921 for descendants of a prominent Italian merchant family, it was never just a home, it was a legacy, a tribute to the family's European roots. Though far from their homeland, they created a European dream, adorning every room with priceless antiques, carvings, and moldings that transported them back to their origins. For generations, this house was a sanctuary, a place where family gathered, celebrated, and lived fully. But as time passed and their numbers grew smaller, they opened their home to strangers, transforming it into a beloved bed and breakfast. Visitors came from all over, drawn by the seclusion and beauty of the estate, seeking refuge from their busy lives. But the heartbeat of the home, the family who built it, began to fade. And when tragedy struck, it left a void that not even the walls of this grand house could fill. Abandoned, left behind in time, this mansion now sits forgotten under new ownership after its sale in 2022. The halls that once echoed with laughter and life are silent, filled with antiques that tell a story no one is left to share. As of now, its future remains a mystery. Will this piece of history be saved, or will it slowly crumble, leaving the memories of a family and a legacy to be forgotten? Welcome explorers to one of the best houses, if not the best, that we have ever seen on this channel. This right here is the front doors where you see when you first walk in. We have two beautiful wooden doors and we have windows on either of them for great natural lighting. Unfortunately, they're covered right now, but back in its heyday, will look beautiful. And taking a look up at the ceiling, we could see the crown moldings in the art that we used up here. It's like we're in Europe. And the beautiful fine wood on all of the walls. And it seems to be hand carved as well. This is just so beautiful. I can't believe this place. And we have some space for cleaning equipment and a little cabinet for some coats and jackets as soon as you walk in and golf clubs too. Now, if we look on the other side, this is where it really is very cool. This beautiful antique wooden chair, coat hangers right up top too. They even put their hats up here. And it also serves as a mirror so you can chuck yourself before and after you get inside. We also have what looks to be a gun over here too. I believe it's fake, does not look real. And on the left, we have a little table, home phone, and then this really cool antique to have the date. And so this is what you see when you first walk in, this beautiful wooden door frame and the wood design on it is just breathtaking. And so we pretty much have double doors leading inside. We have the front doors, and then we have this one singular door as well. And get ready to be mind blown. Take a look at this. By far, this is the best abandoned house I've ever seen, preserved wise. This is how the owners left it. This is not set up, it's not trashed. It seems like we have a little meeting room over here. Glass, wooden table. Look at that hand detail into it. There's a thick layer of dust on it too. Some fake flowers too. I get a lot of comments saying these flowers are real. They are not, they're fake. We even have stained glass up there. And there's artwork on the ceilings. So gorgeous. Over there in that area, we have the kitchen, the back doors, all those other rooms, and of course the stairway up. We'll check that out later, of course, but first let's keep our attention to this beautiful room. I really like how they have so much space 
right up top for so many antiques. We have some vases, some plates, trophies even. Whoa, it's bookcase. They might have been Jewish as well. This is just so mind blowing. And take a look at these walls. They go around this whole room pretty much. And I believe this is all hand carved. And right below we have an old pair of binoculars, some storage space, two lights as well. It's very, very dark in this room, especially because of all these shutters that are closed. But back when you could open them, natural light would pour inside. Looks so nice. And this gorgeous chandelier right in the middle. Beautiful moldings at the top. It's very symmetrical for sure. This is a house you would see in Europe. But yeah, here we have it. The ledge space up top continues going pretty much around the whole room. And they definitely used it well because things are everywhere. We have a couch right here, light, and then right behind it, this really cool antique. I'm not sure what this was. Maybe just a decoration, but it seems like we have some angels and they're pretty much just hanging off some vines. And then for the detail on the walls, it's just really flowers and other beautiful additions to it. We have a nail here, so there might have been a painting hanging up here at some point. And this is an idea of the stuff they kept up here on the ledge. Definitely animal people, as this is in the middle of nowhere. And lovers of antiques too. And so right here on the left, we have the entrance to the dining room, which we could already see is beautiful. And take a look at this organ. This is actually operated with air. So theoretically, you would pump these and you would play the keys at the same time. And that would generate the sound. I found one of these in a mansion down in Tennessee, and it was just like this. Although I think this one is a lot better. And right at the top, we have a cross, right where you would have the playbook, as well as some flowers. These were actually real. They've died, as you can see, but we look beautiful. I think these were purple, even pink, back when they were alive. And we have a clock and two symmetrical birds on either side. And another very interesting thing, the doors to this dining room are actually sliding wooden doors. You could slide this one and that one as well, and you could completely close that room or the living room off. You get some great privacy for sure. Right below, kind of a king's chair. It's a lion and he's holding a book and it seems like some Greek lettering or something. And holding this door open, we have this gorgeous dog door holder and so that is a very good hint that they had dogs to keep them company here. But before we move on to the next room, I do want to show you guys just one more look at this gorgeous living room. This is where they spent most of their time together. There's no TV I've seen in here. So before we move on throughout the house, Stringer Media is actually coming downstairs. I want to get his reaction to this. Dude, what? Look at the ceilings. Everything's really actually set up. This is incredible. Yeah. Unbelievable, dude. So now we're gonna venture into the dining room and then we'll see the kitchen and everything else on the first floor before we move upstairs. And so right here below the stairs, we actually have a doorway that leads into the kitchen and the basement, I believe. And so that's just a second way over there. And here we have it. Wow. Take a look at this. Beautiful grand dining table right in the middle, chandelier up top. And look at the artwork and moldings on the ceiling. Of grand piano right here too. I presume a servant or maybe a worker could be sitting down over here while the main family has a nice meal, talks about business or life. And it still works perfectly too. And then we just have antiques on the top and this candle, which is almost done burning. Frame of Moses and the Ten Commandments. They may have been religious or just antique collectors. But I love how every room in this house we've seen so far has stained glass. Here we have some too, just as we saw in the living room. One extra thing too, this very cool cabinet. I wonder what's inside. You could lock it up too, so definitely maybe something valuable. 
Whoa, holy cow. All of this alcohol. We even have some cigars too. This is filled. I'm sure this is expensive stuff too. And it smells like it. As soon as I opened it, just a big whiff. of Just beers and wine, mostly wine. And then down here. Oh, like a judge's gauntlet. And then some uh, sewing equipment down here too. Very cushiony wooden chairs. And this seems to be a picture of one of the family members that lived here. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if this house was built in the 1800s. Two candles and these beautiful chalices on either side. Looks like they have blue gems on them. And for the floors, so we have beautiful hardwood floor. And for this area with the table, this gorgeous carpet. As we keep going, the walling throughout this room is just some beautiful, beautiful wallpaper of some flowers. And it's just brown, a little bit of purple as well. And here we have a nice showcasing of a lot of their most expensive china. Look at that. And the kind of candle chandelier right over there. Very elegant folks that lived here, no doubt about it. We even have some more of it here in these cupboards and a bunch of books and whatnot up top. Now, this has got me thinking, if this is what the first floor looks like, I can't believe what the second floor is gonna look like as well. It has to be this elegant, if not more, because that's where they would spend most of their time. And this is kind of strange to see in a home full of antiques. We have some modern devices, old keyboard and a printer. So I'm definitely surprised to see that. There's some loose change down here. Very interesting. Maybe they ran a business inside of here. But all right, folks, I think it is time to move on. Let's pass by the beautiful living room and enter the kitchen area of this house. Whoa. So a very common sight in these old Victorian homes. We have tile flooring. A lot of the time they are black and white but this is actually blue and gray, so that's definitely new to see. Wow. We have some semi-modern appliances. This is definitely pretty new, but uh, everything else is uh, pretty dated for sure. So it seems like these fine folks definitely had money, but they chose not to upgrade their stuff just because it looked better, in my opinion. And we still have all the mug holders. My kitchen prayer. Definitely a lot of things in here you'd see a grandma have. That could have been who lived here, an elderly family. YPS. And I wouldn't be surprised if all of these drawers and cabinets are still filled with china. Wow. Yes, they are. And you can learn a lot about the people that used to live inside of these homes. And I presume these were definitely world travelers. He knew a lot about history and everything to do with that. And then for the wallpaper, we just have flower kind of tree combinations as well. And for you guys saying this place is not abandoned, take a look at the roof up here, just completely discolored. Some of it is even starting to fall apart too up there. So I think the elements and water definitely been getting down here, which is very sad. And here we have the back door of the house some walking sticks, garden equipment, even a flag still right here when they need to go outside on their property. A little sunroom area over here, completely boarded, unfortunately, but a lot of great lighting would be coming in here back in the day. And we also have the tiling floor here, but it is sinking down a lot into the basement, so I'm not even gonna go down through this hallway. Went to the past office be back very soon, Carol. Oh, post office, okay. <laughs> That's very strange, they, they didn't text or anything, they, they just used notes. We're walking the dog and we'll be back soon. That's very strange. But anyway, moving back to the kitchen, we have the little breakfast nook over here for very informal meals. If they don't have company or anyone important over, they'll just eat here. 
But if they do, however, they'll definitely move to the main dining room. Some fake flowers and an American flag, definitely a patriotic family. Love to see that. And yeah, another cabinet full of beautiful china. Some medicine as well. This is pretty neat though. All of these spices. Now it opened. <laughs> and these are just kind of cork screws to keep them closed and sealed. And then to the left right here, we have the other doorway that leads back into the foyer of this home. And we also have the stairs leading down to the basement. If it's worth it, I'll bring you guys there at the end of the video. So you guys will have to see, but I believe it will be beautiful as well. It seems like they use every inch of this house wisely. There's just furniture and belongings everywhere. And back when the sunroom windows were not boarded, light from there would come into here, bringing in great natural lighting as well. We also have a side staircase over here in this corner that also goes upstairs. However, to go up there, we're gonna use the main one, of course, and a bathroom in this little area as well. That also leads to a small bedroom. So this could have even been a servant's quarter. I wouldn't be surprised. Flower wallpaper and the room is not too elegant. No crown molding, no chandelier. So yeah, definitely a servant would stay here for sure. So let's go back over here and I think it is time to go upstairs now. So you were upstairs, right? You started up there. Yeah. How is it? Man, dude, it's it's crazy, man. All the beds are there. Everything's there. Each cabinet, each drawer has stuff in it. It's got all the clothes and really everything. I mean, it's it's truly strange. Like, like they really did just uh, get up and leave it. Or maybe they passed away. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, who young would uh, own these, a house like this in this day and age? So I think it was an older person who passed away, but... Everything's up there. It's crazy. It's real crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what's up there since uh, the first floor is this grand. And so for the stairs, we have, of course, wooden handrails and posts just like this. And we have uh, kind of carpet going up too through the middle. White ceilings above. Very, very tall. I'd, I'd say 20 feet. They're kind of getting black now with a little bit of mold. And we have decay as well. Probably from water dripping down on the walls which is very sad to see too. But let's start to go upstairs and we'll see everything that's left. All right, folks, here we have it. Time to explore the second floor. Right here, the first thing we see, two bathrooms. We have the toilet and then the rest right on the right. And so I think it's cool that it's kind of divided. Yeah, this one's definitely very small. And we have a door that kind of divides both sides inside as well too. I think this is the better one of the two, of course. Wow, extremely elegant. Egg white ceilings and walls. And then on the bottom half, some beautiful marble all around. But here we have probably the master bathroom and the only one in this house. I didn't see one downstairs, which is pretty odd. And this very old fashioned shower, take a look at this. This would just wrap around the whole thing on the metal bars. Wow. The shower head itself is massive. And they even had, I think this is a thermostat to see the temperature of the water. Wow, it's very, very interesting. Definitely a rare sight to see anywhere, really. And the fact that we see in the abandoned home is so much better. And then on the left, we have the vanity section of the bathroom to get ready. Definitely looks like it too. We have the mirrors with the fancy lights something you would see in a hairdresser or something. Still has some liquid in there. And I believe this is a pocket mirror too. 
But either way, very, very stylish. And on the right, we even have more. It's magnesia tablets, smelling salts. And you can just tell this is old just based on the labels and the designs of them. Now by the sink, the toothbrush is still hanging up, which is insane to me. Soap, still here. It's pretty much empty though. But let me know folks, what you guys think of this house so far, and especially this bathroom too, because my mind is absolutely blown right now. Let's keep moving on. So we have this first room right here, and we have a hallway that leads to the master bedrooms and some other ones as well. We'll keep that for last because it's incredible what's down there. So we'll explore this area first, and then we will move on. And so here we have a very, very light room, pretty light colors, nothing dark, white ceilings, and then white and blue walls, definitely a very calming room. But this one, again, not really too good. Just a mattress, not even the sheets are here. So I don't think this one was used too often, maybe just a little storage room. But what I find cool, all of her dresses and clothes still here and then the shoes up here too. A lot of the time by the clothes that the people wear, you could tell how old they were. And I think they definitely were elderly. And the reason this is abandoned is because they died, most likely. And if I were to guess, I think these are filled with items too. Ooh. Well, I guess that'll be a mystery. I don't really want to knock this over trying to open it. I want to keep this house as preserved as I can. And here we have a little view of what the outside looks like. Trees are literally growing up against the house. So folks, I promise this is actually abandoned. Some cracks and a little bit of mold is forming up here. It's just heartbreaking to see. I really, really hope someone could find something to do with this home. Because this is one of the sadder ones I've found. And the bookshelf, the books still neatly up here too. Definitely big readers. And you can just open them with these flaps right here. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, folks, it looks like new. I fixed it, no worries. <laughs> but we got that ready. So down this hallway, one of the most incredible bedrooms I've ever seen. But through this door, I wanna show you guys what's down here. This is actually the staircase that leads downstairs, the side one for the servants. And so he could come through this little area and just, I guess, make the beds or make food and prepare it. We also have two paintings on the walls. This one is from 1974, the beautiful framework. And the whole upstairs is just this beautiful hand carved wood walls and the pattern that's on it. Now on the bottom here, we have a little bit of decay, which is unfortunately happening already. So I promise is actually abandoned and here we have it. And so it's only a matter of time before it gets worse and this house is just completely destroyed, which I'm, I'm dreading just thinking about it. But here we have the first room and this is definitely one for the kids since there are three beds here. And if I were to guess, I would think boys lived here, right? We have the blue sheets, blue walls, but either way, just very, very calming room and a little bit of crown molding up top. And on either side, we have this. Seems to be some angel or some protector, I suppose. And, they, and so they would have them maybe just as a sign to keep the, the boys safe when they went to sleep. And this little night light right here, press that button. Yeah, so you can read a little bit when you go to bed. Very, very cool. And on the other side, of course, the third bed. And we also have sconces on the left side and the right side too. Right under that little big decay spot right up there. And so this dresser, not too fancy, not too many antiques. We do have this beautiful tablecloth and this light right here. But other than that, nothing too crazy. I'm happy we could actually open up a drawer though. Pencils. And the one on the right is just empty. But yeah, this one of course fits the mood of the whole room. We have the blue bed sheets and a little glass clock 
right up there too. This closet does not have a lot of clothes in them. And we just have bedding. And so I do believe that they had kids at some point, but they moved out. And that's why there's not gonna be a lot of clothes other than the master bedroom all the way over there. And for the floors, we just have wood flooring, but also this carpet. So let's keep moving along. We have two more bedrooms to check out. We will save that one for last because I believe that's the best one. And we will check out this one first. Double beds, very symmetrical room. And right in the middle, we also have the door that leads out to a little balcony terrace to spend some beautiful hours outside. I'm sure they could pull up a chair outside and just sit about, enjoy the view. We are in the mounds, the views are insane. And once upon a time, when the lawn was manicured and these trees were really taken care of, the view would be magical. And then here we have a view of this place from this side. It's kind of like a dorm style, something you would see in a college dorm. We have one side for some person and the other side for the other. And it's just divided by the middle. The desk and the other desk there. So seems like maybe even two siblings as well that stayed in here. And they had their own side of the room, which is really cool. Now on this one, this one's a little bit more fancy. Beautiful white chair. And these drawers still filled with a lot of things. Ooh, could be some secrets in here. Well, no, <laughs> nothing's in here, but great writing pad once upon a time. And we also have a note right here, which I flipped over. There are some numbers here, which I don't want to show and a candle holder, it's brass. Very beautiful. Unopened. And then for lighting, we have these sconces on the walls, of course, and then the beautiful green and blue wallpaper all around. That really matches the feel of this room. And then for the floor, we have the nice hardwood, and then this carpet right here at the bottom too. This shader, because you could kind of extend this, I believe that this would be situated right in the middle over here once upon a time. So the two people here could kind of get a little bit of privacy. So I think that's a really good addition. And moving on. Okay, just a little closet. And right here we have all the clothes. Very old fashioned. And we're gonna see a lot more once we finally go into the master bedroom. And that's right over here. Wow. And I don't think I'm the only one that believes this was the master bedroom. Just the feel and the grandeur of this room just really screams out at you that this was the master bedroom. Right in the middle, this gorgeous chandelier and the crown molding right up top too. And what I think is very fascinating about this room, other than the red carpet on the bottom, if we move up to the windows over here, we have leaves kind of hanging up outside growing across the windows and they're red as well because it's fall so that really really complements the whole feel of this room we have giant bed it seems like two cushions but they kind of push them together to make one big bed and the hand carved wooden frame and lights on either side too that one was taken out for some reason but it's nice they had their own private lights if one of them wants to read and the other one doesn't and on the other side this dresser has an alarm clock, home phone, some pens and papers. And then we have another phone down there too, but that one's a little bit older. I really appreciate the lighting up here on the second floor because it really gives us an idea of what it would be like on the first floor in its heyday with all the windows open. Just 
just a whole lot of clothes and bedding and other things. Just a whole collection of socks right here. And these are personalized too. I have some dogs, some cows, just animals. And so this isn't ordinary, they had taste. Let's of course close this up just the way we found it. And turning around, very old box TV, the first one we have seen, which I'm very surprised we didn't see one on the first floor. And then the first dresser we're seeing in this room, very big one, doubles as a mirror, of course, too. Flower tablecloth and a few books and other belongings on top. A whole lot of makeup stuff in here. I'm sure the woman of the house definitely appreciated looking good and we're doing her makeup every single day as we saw in the bathroom and of course in this room as well. On the other side, yeah, another dresser. The mirror on this one is a lot bigger and we have a lot more drawers to check out too. <laughs> I think it's a bracelet. Or a scrunchie or something. Definitely animal lovers. We've seen a lot of animal themed objects all over this house. And then her shoes right here, right below. Every part of this house is just so mind blowing. This is magical. And then through this door, the last door we are going to open in this house is the closet full of her very grand and beautiful clothes. Wow, definitely a woman of style and taste, no doubt. All right, so we're ending off the video on the second floor in this beautiful bedroom. And I don't know about you guys, but I was just speechless throughout this entire home exploration. And I hope you guys were as well. Definitely comment down your favorite rooms in the comments below. I hope to see you again for some other time. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and we're going to see you next time.